Don Chamberlain from Great Wave Engineering. Today we're going to clean the bead filler system on my pond in my garden I call Coton M. This pond is unusual in that it doesn't appear to be overloaded with algae, uh, but the algae that's growing in this pond continually sheds and quickly clogs the filter system. You can see the flow is pretty weak. For several years, I've had to clean my filter system every couple of days. Most people will clean it about once a week. Many leave it longer than that, but shouldn't. Uh, you will see how much water and time is required to properly clean the system time that might have been spent enjoying the pond. Let's start by noting the water level and flow. You can see the water level is 15 and a half inches. The flow is too low to measure. The pressure on the filter is 4 psi and on the UV it's zero. Let's start by cleaning the skimmer. The skimmer is the first stage of the mechanical uh, filtration. Let's start my stopwatch to keep track of how much time is required to complete this maintenance. Next we have to clean the pump basket. Due to the heavy algae load, you can see the pump basket is is uh, pretty well plugged. Okay, that's a little better. Now we'll back flush the turbo vortex. Due to the heavy algae load, this is going to be a project. I expect the filter to be heavily clogged. You'll see that not much debris is coming out. You can see the bio balls are heavily loaded. I'm going to dig around in here and see how much I can get out by hand. Now you can see we're removing large amounts of algae, but what a hassle. When the algae stops coming, we'll shut it down for a bit and then restart. We'll repeat that until we don't get significant algae. And we hear a good rattle coming from the bio balls. I need to finally back flush the bead filter. There are a number of steps required. We'll start by draining some water out of the filter. Next, we'll back flush for a bit. Now we'll set the valve to rinse. Run the air blower for a few few minutes to bait, break up the heat. After running the air pump, we need to remove the excess air. Now for a back flush. Yeah, today we'll try to do this three times if we have enough water. Okay, we flushed the filter three times. It took us about 33 minutes. All right, now we're flowing about 62 gallon per minute. Filter pressure's about nine and a half. And the UV pressure's at three. And the total process took us 34 minutes. You can see the flow coming from the uh, end of the pond is now much better. Before my algae problem became so bad, I only needed to do this once a week and I didn't have to disassemble the turbo vortex. But other than that, the process was pretty much the same. In a couple of months, We'll see what it takes to perform similar maintenance on my new Eric filters. Hope to see you then.